You're listening to Off Topic Radio on WHFH 88.5 FM, Flossmoor. You're listening to Off Topic Radio on WHFH 88.5 FM, Flossmoor. I'm Caroline Johnson. I'm Kelly Van Etten. And I'm Lily Donko. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you guys had a nice weekend. Last night was the 61st annual Grammy Awards show. Yes, it was. And mm-hmm. the Grammys is the biggest award show in music. So how do you guys think it went? If you viewers want to tell us, please call in at 708-335-5173 and let us know what you liked about the night because we care about what you think. Yes, seriously, we want to hear from all of you. All right, so honestly, I really like the Grammys. I thought that this year it kind of brought a little bit of like a new, like a little vibe. tinge of like new, yeah, a new vibe, I would say. Yeah. Just because I feel like a lot of the awards were kind of spread out between different genres more, like how Casey Musgraves won um, Best Album or album of the Year. Yeah, I thought that crazy. was, yeah, like it's not, singer. yeah, it, it, I feel like country singers that's not usually like a big category for them yeah i agree with that and i thought the performances this year there was a wide array of performances mm-hmm, for like sure cardi b performed j-lo performed a miley tribute cyrus to Motown. yeah miley cyrus and dolly parton like it was just like like the performances were so well done and, and yeah. they like some were slow some were very fast paced so it definitely no matter your age you were interested in at least one performance that night so it like got the whole audience mm-hmm, for sure and especially um i thought that cardi b the fact that she i think she had a really big night yeah i agree and it, good for her i'm glad that she mm-hmm. did she, i think she deserved it especially after this year and how much she's spoken out this year i definitely think she deserves some recognition and not just like political the political world but also the music world yeah, yeah. for sure I, and aside from just like all the new stuff that's been happening with their performances i thought that there were a lot of like really new looks on yeah. the runway too yeah. not the runway but the Red carpet. carpet so yeah. caroline what was your favorite um, I think that my favorite look was probably Kylie Jenner's. If you guys didn't watch the Grammys, she wore a pink jumpsuit that wrapped around over her shoulders and on her arms. And I just thought it was really cool that she was kind of, it was really her stepping out of her comfort zone. She's very much the type to wear like a long, sleek, fitted dress that kind of accents like her body shape. But honestly, I think she really stepped out of her comfort zone and wore something different. And the designer was Balmain Couture. I don't really know if that's how to pronounce it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yep. Yeah. What about you, Willie? Um, my favorite was definitely Cardi B's outfit. She wore a vintage Terry Mulgo from the 1995 fall fashion show that they had, and it looked like she was coming out of a seashell. I thought it was like, so cool. And unique. She had, yeah, she had three different outfits. So this is the one that she wore on the red carpet, and then mm-hmm. to the actual show, like in her seat, she had a different one, and then her performance, she had another one. Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice that she changed. Yeah, you know, that's I, so weird to me. It just because like her red carpet look was very like extravagant. extravagant. Yeah, yeah, it was like a navy blue um, tight at the bottom, then it went out into like a shell mm-hmm. shape, and it was like light pink. And then she had a, it was like almost like flesh toned, skin tight, like looks like pleather bodysuit with her hair like done up. And then she had a lot of jewelry on, and it looked like so, like. It was like very classy, but like cool. Like it was like interesting like to look at. Little mermaid esque. Like yeah, very mm-hmm. Ursula esque. Yeah. That's what I was about to say. Oh yeah, for sure. With like the shell type of thing that was around her. What about yeah. you, Kelly? Yeah. Okay. So my favorite from the Grammys was Lady Gaga's dress, and it was she was wearing this dress by the brand or by the designer Celine. It was this uh, silver sequin dress, and it was like had this big slit on the side, and it had this like um, like ruffle type thing. Mm-hmm. And I liked it just because. I know, like, I'm sure you guys know, like, Lady Gaga used to be, like, super, like, out of the box. Like, like the yeah. meat dress that she wore, do you guys? Mm-hmm. Like, that right. was insane when she wore the meat dress. I just like, remember, like, being, yeah. like, what is That's going so on? Weird. So, I, like, and I know, like, I've seen interviews that she really wants to step out of her comfort zone and mm-hmm. or, and start doing more normal things rather than, like, the weird stuff yeah. that everyone expects her yeah. to do, which is kind of opposite of most people, like, go back step rather than go forward yeah i feel mm-hmm. like she is like kind of like coming like back down to earth as opposed to where she was right. like she was in what movie a star is born this yeah. year and like she had an amazing performance i definitely sure. like she actually won an award too yeah and like she definitely like gained her like some new respect from a different audience like an older right. audience i feel because like a lot of like kids like lady gaga mm-hmm. but that definitely got the attention of people that hadn't really heard her before and like heard her voice i think oh, for like, sure a lot of artists like have trouble like growing with their audience and i think she did a really good job of not only like being part of this movie and like 
obviously having like a more mature dress, but also like she won awards for her songs and not just like her acting, which she also probably yeah. will win some for her acting, but also for her music. So good for her. I'm very happy for her. Yeah. You know what outfit I really didn't like at all? What? Post Malone's. Oh, Ooh. yeah. It was just I so weird. It was like, like it. a pink suit, but it was like, wasn't it like leathery? Yeah. And it was like. And he like had like cowboy like boots cowboy, on. It was very like cowboy esque. Like, mm-hmm. kind of just like, I was just kind of like, why are you wearing that here? Like, it <laughs> yeah. was like, it looked like he was going on a rodeo or something. Yeah. You know? It he looked just, like, like he was wasn't... going to like a five year old girl's birthday party that was themed rodeo. Yeah. No, I definitely agree. <laughs> <with> <laughs> very ugly, in my opinion. <laughs> but it's also something like. Like, of course, Post Malone would yeah, wear that. Because, like, like, it's just his personality. Like, of course, he would be the one to disappoint like us cowboy with such a weird outfit. <laughs> right. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, like, totally agree with that. I, like, yeah, Post Malone is just a unique guy. You know, God's <laughs> gotta, <laughs> gotta, gotta love him. Gotta love him, but you don't really know why you do. Yeah. Like, he's just kind of there. Um, but another person that I love and I do know why he's there is definitely Travis Scott. Oh, he gave oh, yeah. an sure. amazing performance. And I loved how, so during the performance, he brought the whole crowd up on stage. And I just thought mm-hmm. that was so interesting. And unique, definitely. Like this, this Grammy was, uh, Grammy's awards was filled with like people trying in, like new things. And mm-hmm. I definitely think that was very new to like bring your own audience on stage. I thought that was super yeah, cool. Yeah. And the way that he started his performance, how he was really, it was really chill. He had, the guy i don't know his name but he was featured on the song that he performed in the beginning and he like was sitting on the stairs and just like kind of doing like a chill beginning and then he really hyped it up at then i thought it was it was very travis scott of him yeah at the end what were you guys' favorite performances i really liked uh, miley cyrus and dolly parton's performance because i felt it had a lot of like emotional like Mm -hmm. isn't um sentimentality yeah or or, yeah dolly parton is miley cyrus's godmother so i feel like that has a lot of like sentimental sentimental like Mm -hmm. value yeah value to it oh yeah i think that's super unique and they sang jolene and like i don't know if you know like Miley Cyrus loves singing that song, even though it's by uh, Dolly Parton. So I think yeah. it was just super cool and super nice to see like that family a- essence to it. Oh yeah, for sure. And then um, Chloe and Hallie were, I th- I think they were one of the best performances too, just because they came out. They're new artists. I don't. Um, do they have? Are they acoustic? Yes. Yes, they are actually. It's a, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the show Nashville on ABC. Yeah, yeah. I would love that they show. They are the sisters on the show Nashville, and they've performed. At no, the no, they're not. They're, they're the. That's uh, Let's London and Maisie. Oh, okay. Oh no. No, mind. Chloe. Oh, Chloe I and Hallie. Thought I was honest. <laughs> I was like, wow. No, Chloe and Hallie. Um, I don't really. I don't know where they're from, but they. they one singers? is like. No, they're like okay. they're like pop soul oh, okay. type of singer. Like I feel like they dabble. It's a they do a lot of. <laughs> I don't know. I have everything. yeah, it's a little a, bit of everything. It's a but they show. did. Um, they performed a, a duet together, and one of them is like twenty years old, and one of them is like eighteen. And I think they just started like. Oh, that's really cool. Started like getting into the music or like getting bigger. Yeah, I would say, and the like their voices just like pair together so well. It's like just one of those things where it just really clicks and you're just like, that's nice. Like, yeah. that's nice. They're that just beautiful harmonies. So I thought that was like a really cool element to the it's show. It's good to see some new new faces too, like mm-hmm. along with the old faces. Yeah. Oh, wow. I would love to be talented. You wanna know, <laughs> do you want to know something really cool? What? Uh, my my cousins actually went to the Grammys, which is Really? Super, wow, yeah, wait. Super, how did they like, go to the Grammys? That's so, like, are they like famous something? So my uncle is, um, is the CEO of a very like well-known, not well-known, but like very wealthy company mm-hmm. who they get tickets for free mm-hmm. to the Grammys so he took his whole family which is super cool did they get to go on like the red carpet or like what yeah they, what, yeah wait so, they went on the actual yeah, red like carpet. I mean you have to walk on the red carpet to get in so yeah they walked on the red I mean they're not famous so you probably didn't see their pictures yeah but, yeah they got to walk the red carpet and all they all looked like that's amazing. crazy they got to walk the red carpet and everything I know isn't that, that is amazing like and it's my aunts and uncles second time going and my cousins first time but like wow. imagine like I will never be able to do that in my life like so it's very it's a very cool experience yeah, that's, that's amazing so, if there was like any show like any like show that you guys would want to go to like the Grammys Oscars that, like which one would you choose um, well I think I would 100% go to the Grammys for sure yeah I think so too just because it's most performance based mm-hmm. you know, like, yeah it's most performance based and I feel like I'm not a very like I'm not a huge movie person yeah. or like not a huge like necessarily like specific, like keeping like how you love keeping up the Kardashians like I don't do like yeah. I don't dabble in yeah in like TV in movie. TV and movies and stuff like and enemies. and I'm just very so like music to, is just something that like I listen to a lot so it would just mean a lot more to me to like go and see like my favorite artist there you know what I'm saying I love TV shows and I love movies 
but you don't see them like oh like doing a reenactment of the yeah, yeah. So like, yeah i don't know i feel like it would just be a lot of like oh and the winner is whether like and then rather than like right, yeah grammys is a lot of like performance, performance and then someone wins and then yeah. Performance yeah. And someone wins. i would think i'd go to the tonys because oh, broadway yeah. is just like oh, yeah. so fun to watch and i i'm not even like i've never been to actual broadway but i saw hamilton in chicago and Me i too. just loved it and i think that the tonys are just like so entertaining because like you see so many different broadway shows and like broadway cast don't repeat themselves so like if you see that you're only going to see that once Mm -hmm. so i think that would be very cool yeah i'm not a huge like theater person like i i love to go to them but like like it just wouldn't be wouldn't be something that i would want yeah i definitely agree um i i love broadway too like i've seen lots of shows my grandma takes me a lot to go see shows in the city but um i don't again i wouldn't want to just like watch people walk on stage just that's just my personal preference though but yeah, I saw Hamilton in Chicago, and, like, I thought it was really good. Mm-hmm. There were, like, a few things. We were talking about it in English the other day, and I was just, like, because our, our teacher was talking about, like, what she thought of it. And then I was just thinking about, like, back about when I saw it, and I was just, like, yeah, you know what? Like, I really liked it, but then I wasn't, like, geeked over it where I was, like, I'm, I want to go see it three more times. Like, everyone was. Like, everyone see, came back yeah. from Hamilton and was, like, that was insane. Like, it's amazing. I want to go back and watch it three times over. You know what I'm saying? I definitely was like that. Like No, yeah, you came back and you were like I feel like I'm very like that though. Like I get very attached to things, especially like musicals and plays and things like that. Like I watch them and then I just love it so much. That has been like I've seen Hamilton, I've seen Aladdin, Mary Poppins, Wicked, um, and more. I wanna I see Wicked. Wicked. Everyone loves Wicked. Wicked was my favorite. Yeah. I have like I feel like I would enjoy Wicked much more than I would enjoy Hamilton just because of the fact that like I because like I don't know history is just not my thing like oh, I feel I like you guys all know history is not my thing yeah. so oh, I'm yeah. sitting there like yeah okay like Thomas Jefferson but like if I'm See, like, was like but if there's like a Thomas. non if there's like a non-fiction story I'm like Oh yes, Wicked, like, I think oh. I've like I really want to see that. My whole family when I was little went to go see Wicked, and they left me at home with a babysitter. <laughs> uh-huh. Seven, and I was like, "Where are you guys going?" And they were like, "To swim meet." And then they all came back, and they were like, "Oh, we saw Wicked." I was like, ah. "You were swimming? I don't think so." I was really mad. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, what am I gonna do? My mom and I like we've started a tradition where every year for Christmas, like one of my Christmas presents is going to see a show. So like, yeah, I saw Wicked. I saw. Like I said, I've I'd already named them off, but so I hope that continues because that's like my favorite. Oh yeah, me too. Oh, yeah, both. Sure. Okay, I think we went a little bit off. No, actually, I hate saying that we went off topic. But, <laughs> but we I went mean, off topic. Off topic. Oh. Um, but yeah, so the Grammys this year, I think, were really successful, mm-hmm. and we're gonna be going to a quick commercial break. But be sure to stay tuned. Ariana Grande's new album came out, and we're gonna do a review of it. I personally think it was very good. Thank mm-hmm. you, Next yeah. is the title of it, mm-hmm. and there's a lot of different songs, and it was definitely a new style than what she's done before. So if oh, you yeah. have thoughts on it, please call in seven zero eight three three five five one seven three, and we'll listen and talk about it right after the break for WHFH 88.5 FM. This is Off Topic, and I'm Lily Donkel. I'm Kelly Van Etten. And I'm Caroline Johnson. See you when we get back. You're listening to Off Topic Radio on WHFH 88.5 FM, Flossmore. <laughs> 